Welcome back to the Queen Tunnel again. Right, now it's time to do something very different indeed this time. Uh, I thought this time we'll go through the VHS, D, the VHS preset collection I have. And I'm dedicating this video to DVDM and the VHS Shed as well, who is absolutely awesome. The VHS collection is massive and huge and really, really big. And this video is also dedicated to some people who are as well. So if you're interested in these, in these VHS uh, cassettes and stuff, I'm going to show you then just stay tuned because there's going to be a massive video of it so here we go again and i'm just going to really do this in one take because i didn't realize i was broadcasting live on Ustream and in fact it went wrong <laughs> never mind right so let's get to it and what i'm going to do is in any order at all i'm just going to basically show the ones i have which are um rare and some of them that you not, can't even get on dvd actually because there was a few of them that you can get and a few that you can't get on dvd so let's start off with the first one and let's go for this one first and uh, let's uh, let's talk about a guy who made he made some films in the 60s which were pretty pretty good indeed um sort of like he was um you know it was great in the 60s it was very good with the with his um ability to actually dance and the peter party movies were brilliant as well and this film was actually this film is really hard to get it's not even on dvd at all i've never seen a print of it it's on youtube um but it's also on vhd as well um uh, this is a bootleg copy of an original tape which was produced by ivs services and the guys on the network channel decided to retitle this as a different film right so what the original title of this film is called blood song and it starts ranking have london the world what they've done on this tape is They've called it Dream Slayer. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know how, but this is a stupid thing. I, I like the cover art though, but why it's called Dream Slayer, I don't know. Uh, this film is really very hard to get actually. Um, I mean, I've never seen another print of this on uh, any, any, I've never seen it on DVD at all actually, but it's a really hard film to get. I remember this coming out on VHS video, um, and this print is terrible. The print is terrible. Uh, it, it looks like it's been taken off a bootleg copy and they've just transferred it from one tape to another tape and it's really, really bad. Um, I mean, there's even bits of it where it skips to different parts and it just goes to one excerpt and another excerpt and it's like... And even the graphics on it are bad. There's all like, there's all like wavy lines on it as well, which is terrible. Um, the film's really good. It's about Killer on the Loose who's, who recently is... Uh, his, his, parents got, his parents got murdered and, um, and starts off with him coming out of the car, going at the house. And then it's sort of like he, he gets his car flute and kills the pens and stuff. And then it's uh, about three or ten years later, and then, or 17 years later, and then he comes back and he, he comes back and sort of like kills people. And it's the, actually it's a pretty good slasher film indeed, actually. Is. Um, but there's bits in it, it's, not even, it's actually uncut. On, on, it's not, this is not uncut, obviously. It's been sliced to place together. Um, but the interesting thing about this tape is, right, on the end of this tape, on the end of this tape, there is something else on this that I didn't know that was on this, in fact. So, what it was, so Network Channel was bootlegging these tapes and um, you know, make it all nice and new and everything else. And uh, Omar Sharif is on the end of the tape, would you believe? Yeah, that's right, it's true. Um, Omar Sharif. He's on this tape and he's, he does something, I think it's been dubbed, obviously, you can tell if it's dubbed from, I think it's dubbed in French or something, whatever it's called. But it is, it's a very interesting to see Omar Sharif on the very end of the tape. What were you doing? They were actually bootlegging these at the time. Um, but these, as I say, the film's good, print's terrible, but it's really goddamn weird. Omar Sharif into this. I haven't got a clue. Uh, the, tape is a, the tape is not actually, uh, it's not, it hasn't been actually been sorted yet, this tape. The reason is, I think it's, it's been cut, but I, I had a problem with it in the machine. Mode. But uh, Blood Song from, uh, from Frankie, Va Frankie Avalon and, uh, and uh, Donald Wilkes. Good film. Check it out. It's good. Right. Next tip. Next tip to go on to now. Um, yeah, we'll go for the we'll go for the preset stuff actually. Got some loads and loads of presets to show you. Um, right. Now next film to show you. So a film um, and a very film and a film you can't actually actually get on DVD. Can't get on DVD at all. And I've never seen it on DVD. Um, it hasn't even been proved by the BFC yet by by here. It's not. I don't think it's been released yet on DVD actually. But this film is hard to get. This is the pre-cert version of Cataclysm. 
Cameron Mitchell was in this, Mark Lawrence and Faith Plinth. It's directed by three directors, Philip Jordan, Tom McGowan, and another guy who's not actually credit on it. Um, it's a bit like um, them films in the seventies are sort of like um, The Omen, Exorcist, Fog, None of the Dead, and uh, the, the end of the film it just goes. It's about, it's about, it's about Nazis, really, sort of is. But the um, but the the thing about this is is that the um, the the film is the film print is not bad actually. It's it's not bad. It's on the it's on the original video on the uh, cassettes, which are very very rare now. Um, but the film is really the film is actually not bad. But the end of the film is just taking the taking it too far. You see an open heart surgery at the very end of the film, and you you really do think, why do I want to see that for? Like oh my god! But I'm very glad I'm very glad that this is the uncut version of it. It's pretty good indeed. But this is the um, thingy. It says in the view Nasty's book that this was supposed to be prosecuted for um, for reasons. Of they they said, but it's not. It has never been prosecuted. This film It's on the original um, video limited tape, but unfortunately, this has been distributed by Cyclo Video. So they might have been having in two distributions at the time it was done. Um, tape's in good condition, apart from there's one there's one bit in it in the middle of the tape where it just goes to get lines down it. But again, it's, it's not bad. It's a very good rarity anyway. But it's a good print indeed. A very good print indeed. Cataclysm, good film. Try and track it down if you can. Because it'd be an easy one. Next preset. Next preset. This one is actually out on DVD now. It's available in the USA. It's on Troma now. It brought out the 25th anniversary. Um, but I, the, the trauma print, the trauma print is terrible. It sound. It looks like they've, they've dug it from the grave, and it looks like they've made it. The, they've made it so bad. It's a terrible print of it. It's dreadful. Um, but this print is absolutely fantastic. Print is brilliant. The tape is. I don't think this has been played. I think this has been kept in secret for a while. This film is originally called The Children, but what they did in the UK, they called it The Children of Raven's Back. Now, I don't understand why they've done that, actually. I don't know why they've called it this film. I don't know why it's called The Children of Raven's Back, um, because it calls The Children on there. Raven's Back, King. I don't know. I don't know if that's a copyright issue or anything. Um... It's about this radioactive that happens this gas that explodes in the sky and uh, from this reactor and then it, apparently it's um it's really uh it's a it's a bit like watching um like demon films like demonic films you know sort of thing but it's like possession films possessive but this film is actually pretty pretty good uh the dvd don't get the dvd dvd's terrible um because it's crap but that's a the vhs version is really really cool really good indeed it is on the original Intervision label. Love the Intervision label. The Intervision label is brilliant. Um, it's not. It was not actually. It, this film was not distributed by Alpha Video. The Alpha Video logo is not on this film. Uh, I think it was a copyright issue at the time. And at the end of the tape, at the end of the very, at the very end of this tape, it says that this was this was a first generation copy produced on behalf of Intervision Video. So I don't know whether this is the first print I have or whether this is a rare type I've, I've kept in my possession for ages. But this is actually a rare, rare type. It's a really good film. Really good. Really. It's not bad actually. Sorry, but sorry for if you if you watch watch it like like in recreational time. But this film is really good indeed. So show another one of Raven's back. Too possessive and too demonic. If you want to call it that way. Next tape to go on to another preset. Well. Sort of preset, sort of, sort of weird. Um, <laughs> first thing about this film is it's from Canada. It's got Michael Ironside in it. Not bad. And it's uh, Helen Shaver. And it's a guy called Scott Highland. Um, and I, I have to say that this film is actually bloody good. But what I don't understand is, is that, well, I'll explain it in a minute, actually, what it is. It's called Coming Out Alive. This film, is, this film is actually pretty good. It's a really, um, it's about this kid who's been crippled for life and he can't walk. And uh, Michael Ironside plays a good part in this, actually, but he's hardly, he's hardly in the film. He's in there two stiff, two, the, the end and the beginning of the film. Uh, and it's uh, a very good film indeed. And Scott Hans plays a very good part in this. Um, issue about this 
is it's not actually produced by Intervision. Because it is. It is not. It is not. It is done by two companies. But I think what they've done is they've bootlegged they bootlegged the tape. And the tape transfer on this is bloody awful. And it looks like that what they've done is they've put the Earth of Intervision logo on the beginning of it, then they've put another different logo on the middle of it. But the warning copyright comes up on the screen. It looks like they've bootlegged a cassette copy of it on here. The print on this is actually not bad. Um, but uh, it's uh, Worldwide Entertainment Distributors Limited did, did the original video for this. But Indivision, apparently they must have used their own copyright for this, this type. But this film is actually very good indeed. Good film. Print is good actually. But it's, it's very weird how two companies work together with it's not missing this for some reason that's all for some reason strange coming out alive uh i'm not on dvd um it's directed by don mcbrady and written by Jen john kent harrison and produced by lawrence s merkin who was founder of someone say he was founder of the the thing on that actually not bad right next one to go on to is another preserve yes intervision again Loads of intervision. I don't know why I keep getting intervision for. But the only thing about this is, I don't have the tape for this. And the seller on eBay ha ha gave me the wrong copy of the, of the film. Apparently this was supposed to be the um, the VHS copy. Fortunately, I was left with just a box. Because it had a beta tape in it. And unfortunately, I don't have a beta machine. And I, ha I threw the tape out. I don't know why I did. We just did. But it is going to be creep show. Uh, this film is brilliant. Um, I did... I. The beta copy of this, um, I, I couldn't see a thing on it, but the um, VHS I had of this was awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, uh, this version was actually very good indeed. Um, as everybody knows, it's on DVD now, and it's uncut. This was actually done cut tape, and this film is slinged, but I only have the sleeve. So, if anybody wants the sleeve... I'm very happy to give them the sleeve for free. So if you have the tape and you want you want the rare sleeve, then get the rare sleeve if you want it. So I don't mind giving it away. So let us know if you want it. I'll give it to you for free. Creep show box with the division on it. It's just the box itself, not the tape. Good film though. Good film. All right, next one to go to now is more presets again, and we'll go to um no actually we won't go to preset we'll go with this one instead shall we yeah we'll go with this one instead right now it goes on the 1960s now 60s tv 60s tv was brilliant you had the um the avengers and you had the batman um and so many other 60s tv i loved so much it was fantastic um and this next video i'm going to show you is very very strange um it was produced in 1993 by CRC Video, but originally released in 1967, I think it was, when it started. Might be wrong. Um, only about this is, it was released in 24 volumes on the tapes. Or maybe more than that, actually, because there's tons of these that came out. But uh, this is the only one that I had. I had more of these, but unfortunately they got lost when I moved. Um, this is going to be Mission Impossible, do, 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 do. and this is one of the rarest tapes I have. Um, it's the Stephen Hill years. You know what? Actually, I've got to say he plays a good part in this. Actually, he plays much better than them than the other guy. I mean, me Peter Grace did. Um, the thing about this tape is it's got part two of, um, as you can see, it's got two part two of. Uh, of man out and memory memory is absolutely brilliant on this fantastic print is really good uh, this has got a this is the original CRC video that came out in 1993 1993 video I, I think I, I think what happened was I think I've got like sort of I think this is how it is when it was like that but it's, um, and then we've got a, a leaflet for a lovely t-shirt from the guys at a network company who produced t-shirts and they gave you there was a chance to give you a, a t-shirt but you must have had the photocopies obviously to go and take the t-shirt orders um but it was uh, it's good but i, I had there was many more of these released but i think there was a box set available this but the d it's now all in there on dvd now and the vhs is good it's good it's good well, it's actually tape number two so 
<laughs> All right. Next one to go on to is Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. I love so much. Full Metal Jacket. Full Metal Jacket. Excellent film. Good soundtrack actually as well. Um, but this film, um, this film is, is I mean, war films to me. I don't like war films, but saying that when I got this film of a friend of mine, I watched it and I was, I was sort of like half and half. But saying that though, I've got to say it's quite good. It's on the VPD label. This is called Leathernecks. I. It's originally it's originally a film from Spain, I think, because it looks like it is, because the director, the producer on it is, um, well, director is Paul B. Robinson, Steve Robinson, but it might be might be a, a similar name. But this film is not bad. Uh, it's about war, it's about war, it's about war and war and war, and it's about a Marine Corp hunter killers in what was search and destroys and on their grimy headbands, the men are resist killers who spend their time in host host stores and drug dens. Uh, when Caribou is ordered to hunt down a couple of discovers, the one is the hero known as Bloody Hill Jones and an old close friend. Um, just it's just a war film, really. It is a bit like the Iron Triangle, which I, 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 be, I hear I heard so many say stories that the Iron Triangle, tri, uh, Iron Triangle, is pretty good, and it is. It's a good film. Now I would like to see it though, but it's not available anywhere. If it was on VHD, yeah, I could find it, but no, it's not. Um, <laughs> But yes, this is the uh, VPD label. Very cheap, very cheap indeed. <laughs> Print is actually very rare. The, the film transfer is rare. It's got a few trailers on this actually, but I don't know what the trailers are on it. I can't remember what they were. But it's a good type. I don't think it's ever been played actually. It's, this, this is still brand new. The other next. Good stuff. Now back to presets again. Yes. All right, now we're going to go on to something very different. Now this is a this is a video limited release. Um, well, first of all, um, Airplane was a huge, huge film by the by the um, thingies. And then we had Airport, and we had Airport Four Two, and then Three, then Four, and many more. And this is basically a rip off of Airport. It's just a rip off of it. But it, it actually got to say that. I don't like the airport films, but I actually like this one because it's pretty good. I'll say. First thing about it is, I'll tell you what it's called. It's called the, uh, airport, airport SOS, hijack. Or to put it in other terms, it's, it's originally called this is a hijack because it's not called this. No, it's called this is a hijack. I don't know why I did it for the video cover. Um. There's, there's two things about this film. Uh, actually, the biotech I'm going to talk about. First of all, the company who produced this, um, uh, the film is good. Um, the, the at the very end of the film, it says fanfare films. And then after this is a trailer called the the the, the crazies or something on the very end of the tape, which is not bad. Um, uh, the guy who who was signed to the company, they actually made a few more films. Um, nothing to do with Sutton Cow or anything. It's just just <laughs> fun fair films. But it's a, it's a it's not a bad stick actually, not a bad stick. Now it looks like the tape has been uh has been used and brand new, but in fact it's an original anyway because this came from this, this was actually out of a library, Bartel Video Library. Okay, the SOS hijack. It isn't called SOS hijack. It's actually called um this is hijack because it's what's in the very beginning of the film. Uh, this film it actually isn't that bad at all. Um, gotta say, then the then the, the tape was produced by Video Limited. The print on the Video Limited is actually pretty bloody good. Good, awesome, awesome, good, awesome, awesome. Love Video Limited. Um, but oh, I can't really say much about it really because it's just like a good film. It says one of the best airport type films released on video. Just a bit off airport. But it's not bad. It's better than airport anyway. It's better. More presets now, and now we're going on to the next one now, which is going to be this one. Yeah, another one. This is another video limited. This is the early release of it. This is the early release of it. And we're going to talk about this first. The original film is actually very, very good. The original film is so hilarious, funny, crazy, ridiculous, and mad. And it's just bonkers 
so um, so this version of it well we've got a great cast in this we've got uh, we've got Jane we've got uh, who we got first we've got Olive Blackman in this in an early performance Michael Kalem, Edward Fox, Wendy Hiller, Olive, Olivia Hussey, uh, Beatrix Lehman, Kath, Carol Lindy, Daryl Massey, Peter McHenry, and even Willif, Wilfred Hyde White. It's in the last ever role, I think it is, because it's very, very rare. Um, it says, winner of, the Go winner of the Gold Award at the Miami, Film, uh, Miami International Film Festival. Well, they did actually. But I have to say that the print on this is rare. Um, the Can the Canary, this film is absolutely <laughs> just crap. <laughs> this, 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 re, this, re, this remake that was made in 1979, this is absolutely. I don't know where I don't know how to describe it. I'll tell you what guys, it's really bad. I mean, it it's got all these reviews in here saying the classic tale of mystery and suspense. Um infinity superior in every way to Death of the Nile. Film review. Mm -hmm. uh, and luscious photography of similar to Murder on the Orient Express. High dramatic entertainment. This is this is actually fucking rubbish. <laughs> this remake, this rework. Is nothing like the original film. It's not just with it. What the hell is with the moth bit? What's with the moss and what's with this casket and it doesn't make any sense at all. Edward Fox is in it though. There's a great line he says in it called called Charlie and I run the war together. All right. Uh, so Charlie and I run the war together. Uh, so. This is a film I should never have got. It's just dreadful. Um, <laughs> it's been given a certificate of X though. Right. Okay. 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 This has been given a certificate X on the film. I'm sorry to say, but there's nothing gory in it. I can't understand why they're giving it a certificate X on the film. Well, I'm sorry to say, but there's no certificate on the film anyway. So there's no gore. There's no sex scenes. There's no thingies. It's bloody boring. It is really boring. I don't know why Vin Limited gave it an X. X? That's the X on there. Zero. Look, zero. Um, this film is awful. Really, really awful. I'm not going to say any more about it. It's dreadful, actually. <laughs> now we're going to go on to the uh, the another one of the presets, uh, and this one is going to be talked about quite a lot. Quite a long time this one. So let me give you some history about this film. First of all, this film was released in 1982. Was it 82, 83? I don't know when it was released now. Um, but the the guy who played in this died just last year, which is a very shame because he made he should he should have made some more films, but he had cancer. Um, and the director of this film should be praised because this film is absolutely brilliant. This is just like. Um, I think this was way before the Terminator films came out actually, but this film is awesome. But we all know now that the uncut version has been released now, um, because it's all been restored. But we won't want to talk about the way it's uh, this film, The Exterminator. I'm talking about this film now. The reason I'm not going to know, the reason I don't want to go, I don't, the reason I don't want to, to show you that and more that. The first of all, this this version. This version is very, very different. Um, first of all, we've got a warning on this, which you can see on the screen. I can't see because it's obviously blurred to hell. Uh, basically, that's a warning. Now. So that this film contains scenes or use of language which may be, which may be considered offensive. If in doubt, please check with your video library. Okay, right. Well, I, I'm not going to actually, I'm not going to believe what it says on that, actually. But actually, yes, it does have offensive language. But what I would like to know is, is that this print is totally, totally cut to hell. And it's a different print I've seen. It's totally different. Um, first of all, the print on this tape is, 
it's really weird because the bits that they've that they were cut out of this I mean, apart from like the, the, the bit where they strangle them and stuff like that the strangling bit in this this, this version is not in it nope they they they've done it but what i'm saying that though i mean this version is totally different to any other version that i've seen um the i mean i did have a, 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 the first copy i saw of the film was on dvd which was that then i had the vhs tape of it which was taken directly from this tape um and um this print is different it's totally different this print it's not the uncut version it's it's it is cut the hell but it's diff it's just different it's just very different different thing of it of course, there is trials as well. There is an intervision video release. It does not have a. Um, it doesn't have a certificate on the film. Alpha Video didn't do anything about it. They didn't want to do it. But all I know is that it is an original. This is number number is 0993. This film is absolutely brilliant, and this tape is genuine. And the print on the Alpha Video thing is an original, um, real original real print. That's why I don't understand why it's a, it is an original real print, re, real as a real to real print, but it's um, different. <laughs> it's very different. The Exterminator, a good film indeed. Uh, it's really amazing. Good, get the uncut version DVD in the USA. It's fantastic. UK version is cut to shit. The UK version is crap. Get to the UK. Please get the US version of it. It's better. In fact, there's a longer version of that one out now on in Amazon. I think in general Amazon, it's pretty good. Right now, on to more preserts. Now this one, this one is very interesting. This is actually very interesting, this, this tape. Now I first saw this when my dad got a copy of it on VHS and it was a good film. It's a video limited release. Now the video company, <laughs> this is very strange, but I have actually, what I've done is I've actually redone it. The video company who released this um, has done something weird on the film. Actually, on the tape, actually, for some reason. And, and I know what they've done. I know what they've done. It's called Gold Runner. And it's a PG. It's a PG. Right, now, now I like to basically, you know, if anybody has a copy of this film, by the way, on the original video limited release, I like to know basically the very beginning of the tape. It comes straight onto the film. But what I did, I reassembled this tape and I realized there is an, an, an MPAA PG rating on this. And, and some black. The video limited is not on the tape. It's at the end of the tape. The logo's not there. The warning's not there. I think the reason is is that Vin Limited did not put their address on the tape. They didn't put the normal. They, they would put this address on, which would be here, in a yellow format. They didn't put it on this tape. I think they were changing. They were changing different things at the time. So I come straight on with the film. But what I did, I reassembled it. I took a version of um, of a video that is real, stuck it on the tape with a very beginning tape. So I'll give it like an authentic release of it. But when you when you get to like when it overlaps to the beginning of the film, you see there's a, there's a gray screen on it. Then someone flicks up the, the video and it goes to this film has been rated by the Motion Picture Association as PG. Okay, uh, so the film itself. Um, film is good actually. Film is actually pretty good. What I want to talk about is the actor. The act, not this actor. There's an actor in this. This actor here. He's a Bloody stupid psychopath. There's a scene on this film. He's on the phone, right? He's on the phone. And he's like, he's, his eyes are going. That is like, what the hell is he on the phone? He's on the phone. And, and he's just like, psychopathic nerd. Really. <laughs> Richard Luce directed this film. Um, and I don't understand why Vivian Limited did, did actually not put their address on the beginning of the film. Strange. Um, it comes to the end of the film. Uh, at the very end of the tape, by the way. Great laugh this is. Great laugh indeed. End of the very end of the tape. Goes into some weird sort of wavy lines in the end of the tape. 
uh, some weird noises happening on it. You hear noises of noises of the video the video machine uh, slowing down for some reason, which is very hilarious. Uh, <laughs> and so yeah, um, the film itself is pretty good. Indeed. Not on DVD though. Not I'll show that on DVD. Um, but um, the print is pretty good. It looks like it looks like this tape is being is actually being uh, a pirate. It's not. It's actually new. So what I did was um, on this tape itself. Normally the way it comes straight away with the film growing up, I actually reassembled the tape. I actually got a piece of footage of Real Limited and stuck it on the beginning of it, right? Then I played it in. I want to see what what they were doing at the very beginning of the thing the film. Now I'm actually going. What I'm actually going to do is in my next videos. I'm going to show you the beginnings of the tapes. So I'm going to do like a review now, and then I'll show you the beginnings of the tapes of what this one will, what, 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 what happens in this, okay? Because it's very interesting, that. It's very interesting. So, Gold Runner! From that. Uh, good film. Good film indeed. Actually, pretty good. Right, next tape to go on to. Right, this one is a bootleg tape. Bootleg. Shame this one's not the original. Um, first of all, this is a copy. Tape is not authentic. Um, this film has been edited. Well, it's not actually not been edited. It's, been, it's actually uncut. This book. The thing about this film is, it is. It's a good film from um, Italian, and it's bloody awesome. But it's, it's actually in English. But but what they've done on the very beginning, beginning on the very very beginning of the film. Is it's in it's in widescreen obviously it's in a two point three five ratio. You can't watch it. You cannot watch this film. It's unwatchable. This film. It's called Street Killers. Well, it's not called Street Killers. It's actually called something else in the UK um, in, 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 in Italian. This film is actually bloody awesome. This is really violent. It's very very disturbing. It's um, this guy here is really awesome. Uh, he blows up something at the end of the film. It's basically using people on the run, uh, raping people, killing people, and it is really bloody awesome. In fact, the lead, the lead actor in this is absolutely fantastic. It's not the lead actor. Is. It's a bloody good film. It, it stars um, Helmut Berger and directed by Sergio Greco, who is Italian, and it's a good film indeed. This is a bootleg copy, though. It's not a, nothing, it's not a genuine release. Um, now, obviously, the guy off eBay saw me this tape it's not a genuine tape it's actually a copy uh it's basically that's the video that comes off straight away so i can tell you now guys that is totally fake um and basically it's not the authentic astro video release so normally we're calling and saying astro video it doesn't it's fake it's totally fake but it's good it's not even watchable i mean it says um this is the full cinema scope version yeah it is can't watch it. The print is terrible. The copy of this is awful. Good film though. The copy is awful. Who the hell is bootlegging this? I don't know. Right, next one to go on to is another pre-search. Pre-search, 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 pre-search version. This is Spaceballs. Say pre-search. It is a pre-search cassette. It's not. Uh, it's actually MGM release. It's out on DVD now. It's in this full ratio version. Um. I'm nothing much to say about it really, but it's actually a pretty good film. It's in a RC video sleeves over for some reason. Um, let's see, we've got a tape of it. That is Space Boils the Mother. It's got some good trailers on this actually. It's got trailers for Moonstruck out on DVD, Overboard DVD. Ewoks, Battle for Endor, never ever released on DVD. Fatal Beauty, probably released, and Masquerade released. Never seen that film, that Ewoks, Battle for Endor. Trailer's good in it though. Baseball's film, I love the film, I think it's bloody hilarious. One of Mel Brooks' best films ever done. And uh, it's a pre-13. Yeah, it's pre-13. 1987 it came out. Really good film indeed. Right, three to go. Next film to show you is one out that's never ever been released on DVD. Never released on DVD. Joseph Rubin who directed this film. I have to say it is the first I think it's the first appearance by um Trey Hackness as well. This film is, without a doubt, bloody awesome. Awesome. It's about, it's like, it is a serial killer film, but it, this is actually based on, it's based on um, a character who, who was really, to be honest with you, it, it's like a guy who's out of control and he's get, he gets really annoyed and, you know, like, you know, if there's family together and he's just really angry and this. 
this film is bloody awesome. It's The Stepfather. This film is excellent. This film should be recommended to everybody on every single horror fan. It's that intense. It's bloody awesome. And it's, it's very, very uncut, this version. This version is uncut. Uh, the DVD version, I never saw it. Never saw it on DVD. Um, then it would not release on DVD. Because apparently it's ITC's copy right on it. It's put right by ITC. I don't even think they're allowed to release this in the UK. Um, I mean, on, on DVD, but the VHS copy. Really good indeed. If the original Virgin video release. Yeah, you may think that's your Virgin logo there. That, that, that logo does not appear on the thing. In fact, there's been the new logo on it. 1986 came out. This is actually a re-release of it. This is a reissue. It's a Virgin Film Collection when 1998 came out on this this type. And I have to say that this film is good. It says apparently, remarkably gripping picture for tension and suspense. And it also says, um, some of the faction on it. Some of the faction. Oh yeah, makes the faction look like like high ghost trash. No, it's not. I actually have to say it's the Scots. The Scotsman did. Look, the Scotsman reviewed it. Reviewed, reviewed the film. It's a good film, actually. It's pretty good. The, the um, stepfather. Never seen it on DVD, though, for some reason. Right, next one to go on to. Comedy now. Comedy, comedy, comedy. Parody. Parody TV. Um, now, this is a very interesting video because I got this from an airport. Yeah. I was in um, the Isle of Man for a, a while back. And I got this from the airport. I was shopping around the airport. And I got this from the airport. And they had this in. Uh, only volume 2 though. Because volume 1. I don't know where volume 1 has gone actually. But it's got three of the. Probably three of the best episodes on this actually. Revenge of Remorse. The book that did it. And Testimony of Evil. Which I love that so much. With George Anthony. Police Squad. This is out on DVD now. This is out on DVD. Um, this is a red tape of it. The first the volume 2 is, I think volume 2 is funny as hell. As I say, only made 6 episodes of Police Squad by Zucker, Abraham Zucker, who made some good films, including the Naked Gun films. So they uh, so they decided to uh, release this on, on VHS in 1991. Yeah, that was where, I think it was before the, v, the VHS died, didn't it? Yeah, 1991. But I have a funny feeling it's actually got a Paramount logo on it anyway, so it might be funny feeling it might be from 1998, 1999-ish time, I don't know. But I did actually get this from the um, from the airport, and it was it was cheap. It was cheaper than the customs were very, very cheap. So, Police Squad Volume 2, um, good, funny flick, fantastic as well. One more to go, one more to go. I did have a few more VHSs, I don't know what they are. One more to go, the big box version of... This, this, the, I was going to say Shine the, the Vanishing. Intense, intense film. Um, now, the only thing about this is, it, you, you know, obviously, if you've ever seen this film, right, it is absolutely fantastic. It's a good film. Well, what I want to talk about is, though, why is it, right, they have not put the 20th Century Fox on the very beginning of the film? There's about five, there's about ten seconds cut at the very beginning of this film, would you believe? Yeah, seriously. Um, the scene, the, the, the scene where he drives through the car, there's a bit of there's a bit of the scene missing from the very beginning of the film. So they normally get 20th Century Fox titles, then you would normally get like the 20th Century Fox presents. That does not appear on the film. Doesn't appear. I don't know why. Um, because they rushed that film. That's why. Yes, these buggers. VHS tape. Um, X rental. I have to say, it's this is actually print is better than the DVD print I've seen. It's good. This film is actually pretty intense. This was the this was the second film that uh, actually this film was done just after um, Speed came out when when um when what's her name there? Who um what's her name again? What's what's her name? Sandra Bullock did this film. That's the second film she did. And Todd and even a, a very interesting uh, a fact 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 for you guys. Todd Graff, who was in the Abyss, his first ever co-producing credit on this film. Yeah good film the original version i have never seen the original version of it because this is a remake of it but the remake is better better but the, the, the original darker Ooh, really dark indeed vanishing it's the original vhs type it has got the awesome 2070 fox logo on it as well it's cost captioned as well 
loved the hologram there. And this tape was new, brand new, was never ever touched. Um, but it's the, but it's, I don't know why, it's the post captioning version. Well, can someone explain to me if it says post captioned? It is not closed captions because it's not, they're not even on the screen. The panel's not on the screen, but maybe you have to have a play for it or something for it. The vanishing is that as well. Right, okay. Well, that's it for that part. Uh, next part we're going to show you is the beginning of a few tapes that I want to go through again. And I will show you those in the beginning of the next one. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.